What's up, everybody? We're here with the legendary Casey. Casey, why don't you tell us what you saw in, in your cards for the Happy Pill project? That the Happy Pill is going to really take off, and it's going to be worldwide, and it's going to be super, super big. And we're eventually going to go to Switzerland and Iceland. That's going to be huge yeah. there. Yeah, you, you heard it here first. Switzerland and Iceland. And Iceland. Yeah. And do, you, do you subscribe to the Happy Pill project? Of course. Do you hit the like button? Of the, course. The videos and do you share those videos? With of people? course. Of course. Did you also know that you have to check the video description for important information on the technique, the Happy Pill project, ways that you could support the channel? Of course. You did, she knew that. She, yo, be like Daisy, like, share, subscribe. Bye, bitches. <laughs> okay, let's talk about you mounted. You got there, right? And you were here, and now a couple of things. You were trying to do this. You were trying to bring this arm up like this. Oh, I'm trying to jam it up, okay? The mat is my friend, okay? So if I just try to push this up, they kept pulling down, pulling down, right? Okay. Think of this as a counterclockwise or clockwise wheel. I want to dig my hands down that when they buck and they try to recover, recover this elbow, I bring my elbow down. So I never, because one point you lost this elbow line, right? So if I feel the buck this way, I retract back this way also. Because what they're trying to do is buck high enough off of the shoulder to slide this elbow down, and now that it's having the elbow escape, right? Number, so I want my hand down, that in case they buck, I'm able to just retract, but I'm also able to use it as a stabilizing tool. So I don't want my hand up, you had the hand up, that potentially they can reverse me. This way. And I go over, so I want my hand down. I also want to be able to dig into the mat and not lose what I gain. So as I'm bringing his hand vertical, I'm going counterclockwise, and you know muscle structure, I can tell. I'm trying to affect the, the, the top deltoid line and how I go counterclockwise on the climb. So I'm not really trying to attack his, his lat muscle. I'm actually, so if he hunkered this down, I'm actually trying to keep the, the muscle flex. Uh, let, me, let me retract it. I want to affect the deltoid on a vertical climb. So I'm always going counterclockwise digging. Now you're running into the problem is that you can't get the arm up, but you had grapes. I need you to extend aggressively on the grapes. But you go down for a second and make her life miserable on a grape and extension. You're down, sir. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, really go tight. He's going to grape, Sash. And yeah, it's awful. And now let him have the, have the hand back for a second. And Eve, I want you to bridge off of her and bring her arm vertical. Make sense, Sash? Yeah, but if I'm, if, yeah. If I'm off down there, then I don't have generating force. So when you're on the, Jenny, should you do it to you? Or go down, go down, go down. You're up, go up on top, right? And now get the grapes, just like you had before when you were fighting, right? And now put that hand down for me, downwards, okay? Yes, and now I want you to extend and flatten him out and bridge as long as you can. Bridge, bridge, and yes, stay right there. There's no reason for us to look up. Right? I don't want you to transfer your head to the other side till his bicep connects to his ear. Climb, climb, climb. Okay. Right now, you got, you're really close. Put your head right in there and retract your hands. Now, you, yeah, you're getting the hang of it. Yeah. And then should you go back so that your, so your shoulder goes under their, under their chin? They're going to go under the rear deltoid on the far side. Yeah. Let me see the dismount. You mounted and dismounted really well when you were fighting. Yeah. Let me see the slide. Don't lay on that hip, Sash. Put that right, put your left knee to his hip. Yeah, now slide the other leg out, but not this far over. Let me get in a second. So you have a bunch of things to write down. I would prefer not to go this deep, but if you're gonna start submitting people, if I lay like this, then, and I'm, this is all strength. Okay, if I don't have anything, I don't want him following me with his hip. So this is why I'm asking you to put your kneecap here. Because really what I want to do is that far side artery is sitting here on this bicep. I want to push his bone and flesh up this way. But if he keeps following me this way, meaning this, stay right there for me. If he keeps lining his body up with mine, 
I can't use this leg to fire into that artery because this leg is why I finish him. Can I have you down for a second? Right, let me have this neckline this way. I'm not gonna put my hands together. They're here, and I'm gonna drive off that back leg. Let me have that artery. Yeah, so, so I, I'm here. I'm gonna push off this back leg, and I'm gonna start driving into this. Right, so it's the back leg, but if you start going next to me, now when I fire, I'm gonna be firing vertical and not into that artery. Make sense so far? Is it gonna stop you at all from holding my, my own head with my hands? Can From I what position? Go back in there with him? From, yeah. If I made it this far, yes. his own, his own head. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter? You mean when he does that telephone? Yeah, yeah. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Yes, put those hands together. It this mouth. Be on the it should be very close, but you're really high up. Right now, his deltoid is sitting lower than your ear cap. Yeah, there you go. Now start dismounting. You can finish him from there, but I prefer if you dismount it and show me the dismount. So keep that position and start sliding the other leg out. Now use this as a driving tool up into that artery. And no, 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 I want this leg to be driving off the back into that artery. Yeah, there you go, there you go. I mean, later on, they're gonna, you're making them rotate too much. You don't want them to rotate. That's one of their releases, but right now we just gotta get this first before I show you what happened. Because I don't want him, I don't want this to happen. I don't want to be here and I'm driving him up like this. I want to be here where I'm laying on this and me and him are flat. We're together. Because if I start driving him that way, you okay? Yeah. yeah, it's really tight. If I start driving him this way, he starts loosening up the arteries on me. So now as I start driving him like this, this artery starts changing the dynamic and now I'm driving flat and he's coming up like that. So I've done the standard mechanics of where the arteries are sitting. Um, I will go into deeper detail with you because there's more detail to this. But first, you've got to capture this. So when you guys roll, you know where you're going with it. Make sense for everybody? Right? Makes sense for everybody. And then I'll capture this at some point because that has even more detail. But right now, we're going to keep it with these small. You have a bunch of different things. Uh, you, when this happens, you're here on this fully planked extension, right? And now you just brought this arm up here. You're like this. You're sitting over him. The reason for this extension is he's going to buck me left or right. But if I can kill the extension of the buck, because those legs have to cock tight, right, in order to get me over on the reversal, right? So I'm sitting here almost like center line because worst case scenario, he bucks so hard, I'm able to base out. I didn't really want to do that. I didn't want to lose position here. But let's say I've gotten connection of his bicep to his ear. My first reaction is to look for hit the joint and lace it right underneath my chin line because now I can put my hands together or use a Y wedge as a kickstand to slide down underneath my hand. Now I'm ready to rock. Make sense? Can you do a dismount one more time, please? Yeah, okay. No dismounting like this. No taking far side leg and bringing it up just like you did before. You know what's going to happen is they're going to turn into you. So the moment I go like this and turn up like this, he turns in and I lost the arteries again. So this leg is a semi-moving leg to wedge the hip so I stop the turn. So let's focus on this kneecap. It laces underneath and bites onto that hip because I don't want him turning in. Now my secondary leg butterflies over and now I'm going flat where I get my toe lines down so I can drive up into that artery off the back line. If you forget, go on Happy Pill. Those videos were non-stop on how we get behind here, how we insert, how we recover, hip flips, everything. So you should be really kind of coordinated if you read long. If you haven't, if I see all messed up, I'll be yelling at you, you don't watch the Happy Pill. Okay guys, so let's do it.